Hey guys, welcome to Ellie's channel. So today I wanted to show you guys my no poo method and the reasons why I don't wash my hair with anything that's on the counter in the store. So this is my hair on day seven after not washing it. And as you can see, it's not greasy, it's not oily. It's still, I mean, it has a lot more to go if I didn't want to wash it. So I normally wash my hair every seven days, once a week. I know for most of you guys, that's not a thing. But think about like all the different oils that we put inside of our hair and all the different products that we put inside of our hair. And a lot of times we don't think about all of, you know, the, the chemicals that we have and our hair gets, gets greasier and oilier and we think it's because we don't wash it enough. But have you thought about maybe it's greasier and oilier because you wash it too much? Yeah. I know, I didn't think about that one too. I used to be the girl that would wash my hair every day or every other day, uh, every other day and put like an insane amount of shampoo and conditioner and that was it. Like I've never um, just blown dry my hair for no reason, curl it, straighten it for no reason, like that. I get out the shower, my hair dries. Naturally, it looks like this for the rest of the day so I don't do anything special to it. Luckily, I don't have to but I know a lot of you guys would treat it one way or another. And so your hair would get even greasier because of all the touch and all the chemicals that you would put into it afterwards and you need to wash it or you feel like you need to wash it. But have try not washing it as often and you see the results that you'll get. Now, I have started for about, let's see, it's almost three years now that I started making my own shampoo and conditioner. And guys, it is nothing like shampoo and conditioner. Let me start off with this. So at first I started making it with castor oil and then adding essential oils. But I substituted that and started using that as a soap because it wasn't, my scalp wasn't feeling all that great with it. It was great, but it was not working for me. I wanted to try something that was even lighter and something that had like less products inside of it, not that my original soap now it doesn't. So I started, I bought these little bottles from Amazon and let me just say anything that I'm telling y'all today, I am not sponsored by anybody, I am not making any money off of it, it's just my personal experiences and what has worked for me. So these cute little ember bottles, I bought them from Amazon and they weren't too expensive, I think there was like a pack of six, so I made different like spray bottles for cleaning supplies and different things, but um, I'll feel half of it up, so one is my conditioner and the other one is my shampoo. My shampoo <laughs> consists of two things, believe it or not. So thing number one, pure water, turn on the sink, fill it up all the way up to like right about here. And then my ingredient number two, voila, baking soda. <laughs> I know, that is it, baking soda and water. So I put about four tablespoons of baking soda inside of this little bottle. I shake it up and I have shampoo. <laughs> I know, it sounds funny. And it does work, you guys, you ought to try it. So I spray it down all over my hair. And then when this clogs up, because this will clog up eventually, I just open it and pour it down all over my hair. And it has worked absolutely great. I would massage it like a wood shampoo. Obviously, I'm not getting bubbles. I'm just getting all of the oils and massaging my scalp a little bit. Then I wash my hair and I move on to step number two. Step number two is my conditioner, of course. So, bottle number two. I fill it up all the way up with water. So again, two ingredients only. All the way up with water to about right here. And then I get vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I like this brand because I don't, I can't find any other organic, raw and filtered brand in my store around here. Y'all know I live in the country. There's nothing fancy around here. So this is what I'm stuck with. And water. So I mix it up. Again, same thing. I apply it all over my hair. Then I wash my whole entire body and I come and rinse it. Now, that is it. I get out the shower, and that is my shampoo, and that is my conditioner. So if I have applied my second option conditioner a little bit too deliberately, you will feel a little bit, or you will smell a little bit of like a vinegar smell. 
well, I don't want to smell like a vinegar bottle, of course. So what, on those days that I kind of went crazy on the spraying, I would use, and let me show you guys, I didn't get that out before, but I would use a little peppermint oil, so two or three drops, and I'll add it on, massage it in my hands, and just rub it all over my head. Don't touch your eyes afterwards because it burns. I've done it a lot of times. But that is exactly what I do. And there's absolutely no chemicals going into me and inside of me through my scalp invading my privacy. Simple steps, easy steps, effective steps. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that now and then make sure you turn on the notification button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.